that we have a Nexus configuration with four media packs. The system is capacity licensed for one media pack. So uh, let's just take a quick look at the licensing itself. <clears throat> so we do that by going to Dashboard, System Setup, License. Uh, the important thing to note here is that uh, we have 20 terabytes of license capacity. We're using almost 19 of that, okay, which means that we only have uh, one terabyte or so left. Now, the net effect of this is that if we try to bind uh, a media pack at now with just that capacity, it's going to fail because we have not licensed enough capacity. So let's take a look at the media packs. Okay, so we can see here that we have one media pack is uh, bound, okay, and we can say we have three other ones. It's, it's one thing to note here, too, is that note that there are no modular licenses applied yet. All right, let's just try to bind a media pack. So here we're going to do this like we would normally do, and you can see here that there's not enough capacity, uh, and again, because we didn't have the uh, capacity, we didn't have enough licensing for uh, to add any more media packs. Modular licensing is different in the sense that once you license an engine with a modular license, all the media packs in that engine can be bound, and it does not have any effect at all on the capacity license for the system. When we talk about Oh, just one other thing related to this too, is that when you do capacity licensing, it's done on the system director. And when you do modular licensing, it's done directly on the engine through uh, the local engine UI. There are a couple ways to get to the local engine UI. Um, if the system is already configured with an IP address, you know, it's completely set up, uh, we can access that using its IP address. If it has not been set up yet, then we would access it through the management port. We're going to access the local engine UI through its IP address. The process is exactly the same. Okay, so um, if we don't remember what the IP address of the engine is, we can go to controllers, double click the engine, and then click on network, and we can see this is the address here. So I have this bookmarked, and so we can see that this is the correct IP address. Uh, since it already has a password, I'm going to log in with that. So we're going to click on the license tab. We're going to have to activate the modular license. The process for uh, online and offline activation are similar, but there's an extra step involved um, for offline activation. We're just we're not going to talk about that as part of this demo. Uh, we're going to pick our activation method of online, okay? And we're going to need the activation ID and the system ID. So I already have this information over here, so I'm going to paste in the system ID. And I'm going to paste in the activation ID. And we're going to click Activate. So we're OK over here. We're going to click OK to confirm. OK, and the license uh, activation is in process. OK, so we can see here that uh, activation was successful, um, and we need to do, it's going to log us out, so, and then we'll have to log back in. Okay, so I'm logging in with administrator and the password that I had previously set. Okay, let's take a look at the license tab, and now we can see that uh, a license has been active, the module license has been activated. Uh, we can see the aforementioned activation ID system ID. We can see that the license is active and there is no expiration. Uh, so at this point, we're finished with the actual licensing workflow. Uh, so let's go back to the management console. And we're going to look at the media packs, uh, media packs page. So uh, the thing that you want to make note of here is that now the engine has flexible protection in the modular license column. So that means that we know that the license was activated on that engine. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bind the media packs. Okay, 
So we can see here is that uh, we have the two media packs are bound. And when we activate a modular license on an engine, all the media packs in the engine uh, can be bound. Um, and so this would be a good point to to take a look at the uh, take a look at the capacity license. Okay, so what we can see here is nothing has changed. So it's still the same, and uh, the engine licensing, the modular licensing on the engine did not change any of this, nor does it affect it. Um, so that's uh, what the expected uh, expected behavior is. So the next thing we're going to want to do here is we're going to go want to go back to storage, and we're going to go to, uh, going to, go to storage groups. Double click on that. Okay, and we're going to take these two new media packs. Once we click on uh, the add uh, button, you'll notice that the capacity changed to the total of all three media packs, right? And we save it. So we've added two media packs of, of storage to that storage group. Okay, so just as uh, to recap, um, we saw the workflow for adding a modular license to an engine and activating it. Uh, we saw um, how uh, how that relates to capacity licensing and how it's different. We talked about how to verify that a license is activated uh, in the management console. We talked about if we apply a modular license, then we can uh, bind all the media packs in the uh, in that engine. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you.